Okay, as per request, uh, this is a video on uh, using Arch Linux and Compiz as a standalone window manager. So, this is what I have so far, or pretty much all I'm going to try to do with this. And uh, down here, this is Avant Window Navigator. And uh, we'll get to the goods. Uh, you have to make a startup script. So you put whatever you need to in there. So main one is uh, the bottom one here, Compass CCP and Emerald. Uh, those two are th inside the uh, Yaoart Arch Linux user repository um, using Yaoart. So the first one is uh, Compass dash b z r okay as you can see uh, the first one you just hit one press enter uh, I already have that installed uh, there may be updates I'm not sure I have to check however uh, it does take quite a while um, to compile uh, gmock it itself uh, takes a number of minutes at least uh, to uh, get set up and ready and you have to answer a series of questions I mean not a series but yes or no to a lot of things uh, however once that's installed you have to do this through uh, just your basic no desktop terminal in Arch Linux before you can do anything so control C that the next one is uh, for Emerald is Emerald dash JIT Oops, and I have to tell it uh, what do you want to do. Yawart Emerald JIP. That's installed. It doesn't take as long to install. But uh, you need at least those two to get started. And some kind of docking facility. I used Tint2 tint in the beginning just to get started. And then just added the programs as I went along. That's all I did. And unhide. Go to my X in it. Uh, for example, see, I'm using Leafpad for a text editor. Uh, just this line, exec, and then that start uh, script, which is here. That's basically all you have to do. Um, the pitfalls uh, for open source driver is uh, R. Uh, Caden Live, you try to load a video up, it, it's missing the video acceleration. And it complains about that, and it's pretty difficult to work with. Uh, desktop Zoom, which is amazing for Compass, doesn't work for some reason. I think it's because of the open source driver, I think. Or it could be doing something wrong. As far as things like uh, sound, uh, like the mixer here, this is XFCE4 mixer. And uh, you have to download that as well. So you just basically use various parts for the gnome this is a gnome terminal this is thunar and uh you know obviously vlc and stuff this is neat uh this is from open box open box logout ob logout that's all it's i think it's yeah it's in the official uh repositories uh, you can't log out though ironically because it's looking for open box but the rest you know if you want to restart or shut down that works fine so that's all I can really say. Uh, it works. Um, I did try this with the uh, accelerated ATI drivers, and it worked for a while. Then it just crashed, and I had no idea uh, to buy. I, it was just easier to redo everything, to reinstall. Um, but it was working, and the enhanced desktop zoom was working, and everything else I tried worked. Um, I suspect it had something to do with uh, the login manager. I used after I had that running a couple of times uh, things didn't go so well so I suggest not using one for a while if you're gonna try this and as far as VirtualBox is concerned you can get most of it running except for you don't have a decorator which is uh, like this emerald at the top you don't have a bar so you just have file edit and the way to move it is the alt uh, key and your the button one and the resize would be alt and button three if you, if you don't have uh, if you try this in virtual box 
but I'll, that's all I can say for now. And uh, it's just add as you go. And uh, good luck if you have uh, proprietary drivers and they work out. That's amazing. That's awesome. But I'll, as of now, you have to you have to download from the Arch Linux user repository two files. Let them compile and customize your script to what you want to have starting uh, when you log in. All right, so I hope that uh, fulfills the request. Um, if there's any questions, there's not much I can say. It's just download, install, um, make a startup script, and cross your fingers. <laughs> so anyway, if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to add them. And uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.